be able to talk earlier in the flame dressing room about the fact that you two guys are obviously going to be tied together because of the goal in Vancouver. Uh, do you, you know, he said he'd like to have a couple of words with you and, and chat with you a little bit. I uh, wish you well coming yeah. back. What, what's that? Does that mean anything special to you at all? Yeah, certainly. I mean, I grew up watching him. So, uh, you know, to have the chance to play with him, to be uh, kind of together on that goal was, uh, was pretty special. And, um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's always nice seeing those guys as competitive as it gets. Uh, you share that memory with everyone, so um, it's special. And uh, yeah, you always like to catch up with guys when you have the chance, and we don't come here that often, so it'll be good to see them. You've got to go ahead, Roger. You've been asked a thousand times about how you're doing, but when players like Jerome say, you know what, we want Sid back, we, we want him to know, we want him back. Maybe not to play against him all the time, but we want him back. How does that affect you as, a, as an athlete, as a person? Knowing that, um, well, it's it's a compliment, and at the same time, uh, you know, you don't want to rush back because the guys want you back. But um, no, it's uh, it's nice to get that kind of response, and uh, trust me, I miss it, and I want to get back uh, a lot, and I'm anxious too as well. So um, that being said, though, it uh, it certainly means a lot coming from him. Okay. Ask you again, just did anything different from two days ago when everyone in Vancouver asked you how you're doing? <laughs> no. Um, all's been good though you know it's been uh, it's been nice the last few weeks just to to go hard be around the team not feel like uh, kind of on the outside looking in um, when you're hurt sometimes it's uh, it's tough to get around the guys tough to tough to kind of be in that normal uh, normal environment so um, yeah I'm just happy to be kind of going hard out there and preparing to come back what's the next milestone what do you what do you have to feel next what do you have to uh, probably contact you know that's uh, that's the next step and um, you know, first things first is just making sure that uh, you know there's no uh, return of any symptoms or anything like that. So, um, you know, last uh, last few weeks, like I said, have been been really good and been happy with uh, the way I've gone. So, is it a, is, with those? Uh, is it a progression every day, or are you where you where you need to be, and it's just conditioning, contact? You know what you know what I mean, or do you need yeah. to progress more with? No, it? I think I've. I mean, I've gone as hard as I can and tried to try to push it as much as I can and. Have responded well, so yeah, I think it's just more of a matter of time than, than kind of pushing that next level. And I guess if it, if there is a next level, like I said, it would be contact and how I respond to that. So everything else leading up to, to this point has has gone really well. How do you take that step? Is it do you have to say I'm ready? Is there another like test that you have to pass? Um, well, that's something I'll just talk to the doctors about, and I'm sure that they always seem to have a few tests to kind of gauge everything. So uh, I'm sure kind of that next step won't be any different, but. Um, it's just a lot of communication, and you have to tell them how you're feeling. And um, the reports have been good, so I think for them, they just want to make sure that uh, continues to go the same route here. Sydney, um, there's been a real focus on headshots to start this season. Hockey Canada is banning hits to the head in the junior leagues. They've cracked down on it. There's all kinds of suspensions, not just at the NHL level, but at the junior level. And do you feel that that's response in part or all in response to what's happened to you? I think it's part of it for sure, but I think at the same time it was it was a topic of its discussion leading up to, to my head anyway, and uh, you know it's something that I think uh, had to be looked at a little bit closer. And um, you know, for kids growing up now, it'll be it'll be easy for them to adjust. Uh, that's what they're going to know. They're going to know that there's no headshots, and I'm sure they'll adapt uh, according to that. But um, you know, for us, it's a little bit different. You know, there's an adjustment there, and we didn't grow up playing with those rules, so everyone's got to be a little bit more responsible. And, and figure things out, but uh, I think it's a step in the right direction for sure. At, at the same time, there's a there's a backlash, you know, the Cherries and the, and the Millburys. I mean, does that, knowing what you've gone through and what you see, does that surprise you? Do you expect that? Uh, well, no, I mean, everyone's always going to have opinions, and, um, you know, they're going to have really strong opinions. So, um, you know, I think it's, you know, it's a matter of adjusting, and um, nobody wants to see, you know, the physical play taken out of hockey. And, you know, I said it before, but, you know, we talk about that stat, there's 50,000 hits a year. And, Talking about taking out maybe 50, so I don't think we're changing the game. Um, game's faster probably than it's, than it's ever been, and um, you know guys have to make sure that uh, they're smart and responsible. But um, it's still a pretty good product out there, and I think everyone can agree with that. So is there, um, have you noticed a, a difference at all in in uh, Malkin? I mean, even ripples about uh, workouts in the summer have come out here. Uh, it's hard to believe. A, that he could increase his leadership after winning the consulate, but is there a difference in him this year in terms of? Yeah, I think he's just hungry. I mean, he didn't play the second half, and um, he's a competitive guy. 
expects a lot of himself. And um, you know, I think he was just hungry to, to get back. And as you said, he trained pretty hard. Uh, he had a great preseason, uh, looked good last night. So um, he's playing like that. He's pretty hard to stop. And uh, it's a good sign for us.